in. It's a beautiful day with a few inches of fresh snow here at Crested Butte. I am taking a quick warm-up lap before heading on down the mountain to teach some adult lessons today. During this warm-up lap, I'm going through some really tight spots in the trees where powder hasn't yet been tracked out. And I'm focusing on a couple key tactics to enable me to do that. So as a snowboarder, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that my body is turned in line with the fall line. If you ski, your chest is going to be pointed down the fall line and your body will be perpendicular to the slope. As a snowboarder, we have the advantage in tight spaces that we can ride with our body in a bladed position, keeping our lead shoulder directed either down the fall line or through the next gap in the trees that we're trying to fit in. While I'm maintaining that position with my upper body, I'm gonna try and prevent my board from ever turning totally perpendicular to the slope as you see it is now. Although I'm going to be making turns, I'm going to try to keep most of those turns open shape, meaning that my board, although turning side to side, does not reach the point of being perpendicular to the slope. Therefore, I'm gonna be able to fit in narrower corridors. Because I'm making open turns, I may not shed as much speed with any individual turn as I would if I made closed turns. So I'm gonna have to increase the number of turns that I make in order to get the same speed control. And those two things, bladed upper body position and open turn shape are gonna fit me through some tight spots. Let's go get into some trees here. gentlemen is how you fit your snowboard into tight spaces in the trees to chase the freshest powder oh yeah what a morning i love you crested butte on into one of my favorite spots the bleachers